are watching Eyewitness News in high definition. A rise in violent crime along Melrose Avenue prompted a neighborhood meeting tonight between worried residents and police. Eyewitness News reporter Leslie Miller tells us there was also a vigil for a murder victim. She's live now in the Melrose area. Leslie. Michelle, residents in this area say there are serious issues of crime, home burglaries, car break-ins, and more, many more incidents of crime. Uh, residents came together tonight with the LAPD and with community leaders to discuss their concerns about the increase in crime in this area and the significance of this night. It happened on the one-year anniversary of the brutal murder of an elderly man that took place not far from here. Members of the Melrose Action Neighborhood Watch light candles for a vigil in memory of 70-year-old Katan Kaimov, who was stabbed to death one year ago. It was a random and horrific killing of an elderly man who was out for an evening walk in his own neighborhood. He's just not a number. He's a human being, and it's never been solved. So bringing, again, the attention, the focus that, that happened, it could have been any of us. Residents and community leaders want to make sure crimes like this never happen again. Tonight, Robert Cherno came with a message for local politicians. We have major crime problems in the area. Uh, in association with a lot of the transients that have moved in here, uh, we've had some of them have committed rapes, murders, uh, attacked a little girl with a machete. Do you feel safe walking the street at night? Personally, I do, but my daughter doesn't feel that I should because of the concern about crime. Residents believe the slumping economy is partially to blame for a recent spike in violence. You know, with the economy going down, we have a lot of the restaurants, a lot of the businesses closing on Melrose. We have a couple of marijuana, medical marijuana places that are wanting to open up. I have a letter here from a little girl that I'm scared to go outside of my house. I want to play. Bad people don't let me play. Please help me. I love to play. Pearl, first grade. Some believe taking a hard line approach to crime is the only way to make a community safer. We need to be looking at this to up the amount of punishment for these people who are going to prey upon us. Uh, in these tough times, the message has got to get out. You commit a crime, you're going to jail. No ifs, no ands or buts about it. And the city and county of Los Angeles are offering a joint reward, $63,000 for anyone who has information that may lead to an arrest in the murder of Katan Kaimov. That murder happening one year ago today, still no suspects in the case. We're live in the Melrose area of Los Angeles. Leslie Miller, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Leslie.